Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're gonna be blasting Kill Town Denmark's Dead Void, the Looming Spectre demo 2018. This is the MSUO Dark Descent version. Holy shit, this is Repulsive Bliss. This track is fucking amazing, and this demo is just... Holy fuck. So dark. Just awesome, awesome stuff. I love the art. Just, again, killer shit. Non-ritualistic death metal. From, uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Killer, killer shit. Dead Void. The Looming Spectre Demo. Pretty sure they're from Copenhagen. Uh, I just automatically, I don't know why, but I apologize if Dead Void is not from Copenhagen. But still, this is Kill Town Death Metal, but more of a doomed out death metal vibe. Imagine Swallowed. Like, not Lunaterial, like the EP. Yeah. You'll hear a lot of Swallowed on this Dead Void tape. And speaking of tapes, oh man, this is something I've been looking forward to. And um, I was going to get the LP, and I am going to get the LP. Just, uh, I'm waiting for the pressing plant to get it to um, Tim over at Parasitic Records because at the pressing plant they went to someone, well not someone, I'm guessing the entire staff was offended by the artwork of this album I'm going to be discussing and uh, the tape ended up getting put out first so I talked to Tim at the uh, Dark Descent ninth anniversary show and I was like hey what's going on with um you know the disgorge reissue and he was like it's coming it's coming probably like late November but um and he explained what happened and I was like holy shit that's crazy and like I'm waiting on the the new rune magic as well like from parasitic but I didn't pre-order um the disgorge album but I'm going to because holy shit did they make something that when I first heard it sounded like just a muddy mess of like disgustingness like I could tell there was like shit I liked about it but the production was seriously so lacking that it was just like it's an awesome fucking album and whatnot but like I just couldn't get around it and lo and behold, Parasitic Records reissued Mexico's Disgorge Forensic. Now, I can't really show the cover, like seriously. It, you know, features an aborted baby on it. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna, you know, get my channel in too much trouble. Awesome, awesome hard shell case. Fucking this right here is gore metal done so goddamn good gore grind whatever category of gore you want to throw disgorge under this might be the sickest most disgusting yet brutal grinding gore riddled death release ever it, it's insane that there are no pitch shifters used on this recording. I was so like flabbergasted that there was no pitch shifters used on this bad boy. Because I swore, I was like, there's no way, no fucking way this dude's voice is this sick. And lo and behold, these guys actually, pretty cool story. Sorry, I have to censor that aborted fetus out. I apologize. But, uh... They played with Cannibal Corpse. Corpse Grinder legit, like, searched these guys out, you know. 
pre, like, you know, MySpace and all that shit. This came out originally in 1999. And this is their second full length. So, Corpse Grinder went looking for Disgorge and wanted to add his vocals to their next album. So, you get George Fisher doing some guest vocals here. And it's fucking sick on a crevice. And that's one of the few song titles I can actually pronounce. I love how this is like, you know, a for like a legit forensic sheet. Like side A is exhibit A, side B is exhibit B. And you get fucking 10 tracks of legitimately the sickest gore grind, gore death, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Just gore metal. We'll just call it gore metal, okay? Whatever. This is the sickest gore metal release you're probably ever, ever going to hear. It's dark. It's sinister. It's fucking brutal. Like, yeah, there's parts that sound like Symphonies of Sickness, but then it's just a million times heavier. It's fucking so good, and so many bands took a page out of Discord's Mexico's book, it's insane. And if you're wondering why I'm saying Disgorge Mexico and you're not really in the brutal death metal, I'm not trying to confuse them with the American Disgorge, okay? Who also play brutal death metal. So, like, you know, and that's also very gore riddled. So, I can understand the um, confusion. Because I, at first, I, I like, I remember when I first heard this Disgorge, and then I saw the Unique Leader Disgorge, I remember being like, is this the same band? Like, did they, what? Wait, what? Like, it was one of those situations. But, yeah, this is Mexican fucking underground extreme music just... For lack of a better term, extreme people. Look at Mexico's drug cartels. Just look at the gnarliness that exists south of the border. It's fucking brutal down there. And to me, Forensic by Disgorge is like a total, you know, love letter to Mexico and just the fucking atrocities that happen on their soil on a daily basis. Like, as sick as everything about this is, I feel that there's something about it that, you know, as extreme and gnarly and kind of over the top as, like, the artwork is and whatnot, I feel like there's a message behind everything. And that's fucking cool, but... I just think that that message might be, like, you know, hey, death happens, and, you know, it comes in many brutal fucking ways, because you are not going to be able to decipher these lyrics. If you somehow decipher these lyrics, bravo. Like, without a lyric sheet, good fucking luck. But, seriously, some of the best fucking vocals when it comes to this genre... Especially the fact that no pitch shifter was used. I cannot wait to snag the LP version of this. But the tape, alongside that extra nice tape hiss, it's absolutely devastating. It's heavy as fuck. The production is absolutely amazing sounding for what it is and for what this originally sounded like. I'm like beyond impressed with how good this sounds on cassette tape. And, uh, I want to see if it says real quick who, um, like, you know, remix this or whatever for the LP or, and, like, tape and whatnot. But this was recorded in Tequila Studios between March and April 1999. Recorded by Gizmo, Riza, and Disgorge. Mastered at Spacato Studios by Hector... Castellan, produced by Disgorge, ex executive producer, Repulsive Records. 
Um, I'm just trying to look on here. Okay, the 2017 LP layout is by Justin Stubbs, and that's the only real information that I see right here, but they want to thank all of us sick fuckers out there into the true legions of gore. You know who you are. The Gormageddon is coming. We will destroy your planet. Fuck yeah. Pretty sure that uh, Disgorge accomplished their mission here on Forensic. But um, another great thing here is there's a nice little band list. And if you're ever interested in finding out about some really sick underground, like, death metal, gore grind, and whatnot style of bands, right here is just kind of a who's who of late 90s, mid 90s, early 2000s, like, brutal death metal, gore grind, gore metal, whatever you want to fucking call it. Like, you have... The Chasm, Abhorrence from Brazil, Sanity's Dawn, Cenotaph, Deranged, Mortician, Exhumed, Impaled, Cannibal Corpse, Incantation, Flesh Grind, it's just all sorts of fucking sick shit, Impiety, Sulfuric Carnage, Nile, Regurgitation, Skinless, it just goes on and on. And it's fucking sick. You even get nice old devourment, aborted, decapitator, vomit remnants. Just sick, sick shit here. Bastard saints. So it's kind of like a who's who. Even cock and ball torture get a shout out on here. So it's definitely like a who's who of the time period when it comes to Brutal death metal, gore, etc. But hails to Tim at Parasitic Records for reissuing this long lost gore metal gem right here because, in my opinion, Forensic by Disgorge Mexico is one of the absolute filthiest, heaviest, dirtiest, best gore riddled, brutal slamming death metal releases of all time. I would say more grinding death than slam, but like, I know some of you are gonna hear this and be like, it sounds like slam metal. It's because, you know, most of those guys just listen to Devourment, take the Devourment formula and make it their own, but like, where do you think that, you know, that inspiration vocally came from? These guys have been around since the early 90s and whatnot. Like, it's not like Disgorge was a new band or anything. That's what I mean. This is Dis Disgorge Mexico. Please do not confuse the two. But I will put a link below. It's going to be a YouTube link. I'm pretty sure you can't find this uh, on Bandcamp. I'm not 100% though. I might look for you guys. But um, based off the artwork, it, it might be some censored artwork, I'm not sure, but, you know, having a dead baby coming out of a vagina, it's kind of gnarly. And uh, it's something that, don't let that take away from the music here. Like, if that offends you, it's supposed to. Like, look at the cover of Carnivorous Erection by Regurgitate. And then look at that cover. Like, yes, Carnivorous Erection is completely fictional. Where, this looks pretty goddamn real to me, but it's whatever. All I know is Disgorge Forensic is definitely one of the best, heaviest, and filthiest gore metal releases ever recorded. And hails to Tim at Parasitic Records for reissuing this bad boy. And putting it out on cassette and also putting it out on vinyl for the first time ever. Fucking hails. And we've been blasting Dead Void, the Looming Spectre demo on Dark Descent and MSUO. Fuck yeah. And thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hails.